Hello, just too good here reviewing the LEGO City Summer 2016 Airport Starter Set. has 81 pieces, 4 minifigures, and it retails for $10 in the United States. Now let's take a look at those minifigures. So here is this airport mechanic. His torso is a little bit hard to find with the octane printing. I know it comes in the air show and in the gas station from this wave, but I don't know if that comes with anything or any other sets. And that has a nice back torso printing as well, and he has a wrench as an accessory. The next minifigure is just an airport security guy. His face is a little bit more uncommon than other faces. I like the use of the light orange new cap, and you can see it has some back printing. So here is a male woman. Uh, she has a nice torso that's kind of hard to find. The only bad part is there's no back torso printing. I like her hair piece as well, which is a little bit hard to find in that color as well. And she has two little directional lights as her accessory, but no back facial printing. Then there's this pilot minifigure. His torso is also sort of hard to find. His visor can come down just like this, and his face is single-sided and pretty common to find. And he does have some nice torso printing on the back. So here's all the contents of the set. So here is the male helicopter, which is probably the centerpiece of the set. It's all right. I like the little side mailboxes with the stickers on them. There's two of those, and you could stick the one by two envelopes that they give you in the set, which we'll get to later in there. And they also have the new windscreen, or newer windscreen. It's really not that new anymore. You could just lift that up and remove or put the minifigure in there. And his little accessory to control is just this little gauge right here. I wish there was like a control yoke or something like that. Other than that, the rotor spins perfectly. It's fun to move around and there's even a little uh, rotor at the back right here. Then for the rest of the builds, there's two sack trucks. One of them holds three envelopes, which in real life wouldn't make sense. But here, I guess it, it, it sort of makes sense because of the size of the tile pieces. You would, of course, slip, slip them into this little mailbox they give you. And you could actually fit all three in there. The mailbox has a nice stickered piece right there, which is the same as the one on the air mail mail boxes, except this one's red. And you could open it up and remove the envelopes or whatever. Very simple build with the mailbox. And then there's this little sack truck holding a little fuel canister, which is, again, a very simple build, but still pretty nice. Here's the front of the box. Here's the back of the box. So here's instructions. There's an advertisement for the fire stuff and the airport stuff from this year. And there's actually a glitch on the part replacement part, which you can see that they put two of those and two of those at different sizes. Very weird glitch. So overall, I feel this set is pretty weak and pretty misleading. Now, of course, it's for kids. And will a kid be pleased by this? I don't think so. It's called the airport starter set. So if they want like a Lego City airport and you say, all right, here's the airport starter set, little Jimmy. I don't think they'll be satisfied at all. They'll be like, where's the airport? Because there's not really any airport elements in this set. The only airport element I would say is this guy right here for his torso and everything. And then if you give him the two little directional lights, because that screams airport to me. But the rest, there's no plane. Instead, there's a helicopter. There's a little uh, the mailbox and these transportation things. That's not airport to me. It should be called like the air mail starter pack. That would have made more sense. But of course, they have this new airport sub theme or a new wave of the airport set. So they wanted to have a starter pack, but I feel like this isn't really satisfying. So I'll end up giving this set a D plus. It's not really a good parts pack. And I don't think kids will enjoy this because it's very misleading in its name. And I don't think adults will run out to buy this because there's really not that much exclusive pieces or rare, hard to find pieces. So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye.